Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you a really cool way you can go from this to something like this with using only your brush tool and simple shapes in Photoshop. So what basically you want to do is um, you're going to make a just click here and go to solid color and you're going to choose your background color. I got on with this uh, blue dark really dark blue next you're going to grab your ellipse tool I'm going to fill it with white and I'm just gonna draw the my circle I'm gonna center it what we're gonna do from now on is just add new layers so let's start off with the darkest shadows. So I'm going to create a new layer by clicking on the plus sign. Hold on the Alt or Option key uh, in between your two layers. Whenever you see this little arrow, you can just click. This will make it into a clipping mask. This means that whatever you draw on this layer is going to be applied only on your shape layer. So I'm going to go with press I on my keyboard, grab the eyedropper tool, select my background color. Then I'm going to grab a big soft brush, um, which you can find right here in the general brushes. And I'm going to gently just make sort of like a shadow on this bottom corner. I'm going to then click on my circle layer, add a new layer. This will automatically make it into a clipping mask and it's going to be underneath the dark blue color. And I'm going to make it a lighter blue color just to add a little bit more depth to it. As you can see, and now it's looking kind of cool. Um, what we're now missing is a highlight. So on top of everything, because we want it to be shown pretty clearly, we're going to add a new layer, make this into a clipping mask as well and choose our highlight highlight. Now you can choose whichever color you want. Um, it can be a yellow or whatever color you want. I'm going to go with this pink red ish color, grab our brush tool. This time we want our brush to be a little bit smaller and gently go around the border of our sphere because we want it to be a subtle highlight. Now in some parts we can make it brighter. I'm going to lower than the opacity to about like 15 or 16 so that we can go in a little more. And I'm going to add a little highlight on the top here as well. Kind of like this. Now what we want to do is add a new layer underneath everything. And we're making our glow glowy colors. Um, so this layer is going to be underneath our circle. I'm going to go with a bright blue. With my brush tool, I'll make it about 80% opacity. And I'm going to gently add it kind of all around our sphere. Now grab a new layer. I'm going to go back to my pinkish color. Lower the opacity again to like something like 50. But you can choose these if you like a harsher effect or a softer one. Depends on that. I'm just going to add some pink too. And if I want, I can go back to the blue and add some more of that. And that's basically it. The final thing I love to do is just convert this to a smart object and just add a bunch of noise to it. I love noise, but I think you guys know by now. And that's it. How cool is this? 
Like you went from a regular, boring 2D circle in Photoshop to a cool looking 3D planet sphere or whatever you want to call it with like three colors and a brush. Super easy, super quick effect. I hope you guys love this as much as I do. And feel free to subscribe and comment down below if you have any tutorial suggestions. There's my gradient map packs and texture packs are linked down below. So go check them out. There's also some free stuff in there if you want. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.